Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me. Uh, today, I have the pleasure of being joined by Brian Kosar, who is the Chief Marketing Officer at, at uh, Provo Medical. And you'll see there he is in his lovely, uh, interesting uh, home office just outside of Cleveland. Brian, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Phil. Good to be here today. So tell me, Brian, how is uh, the coronavirus impacting you personally? You know, I haven't really been exposed to too many people in, in the Midwest. I'm here outside of Cleveland, Ohio, uh, not far from, from farm country. So, you know, with their social distancing is always kind of in effect out this way. But uh, haven't known too many people that have had it. Um, recently, I've, I've heard of a couple, but not, not people necessarily around here. So, you know, we're, we're holding up well. I've got uh, some, young, you know, not young kids. I've got a 17 year old in, in high school that wants this to be over in the worst way. Uh, I've got a 19 year old in college who would love it. Okay, so tell me, how is uh, business for you? How's, how's it impacting the business? Is the pandemic impacting your business at all? Absolutely, I mean, I think everybody, you know, it has affected them in some way. Uh, we saw, you know, like everybody, mid-March, you know, things started to slow down. Um, you know, we, we reacted accordingly, uh, you know, especially from a marketing perspective. We, we really took a hard look at, at what we were doing, uh, understanding that the landscape may be a little bit different uh, for a while. Uh, and what a while meant, you know, back in the middle of March, nobody knows. Nobody knew, nobody still knows. But it kind of gave us a chance to look in internally uh, and to, you know, see exactly, uh, what we were doing, uh, and if any changes were needed, uh, to, to, you know, be best situated in this environment. So I, I will say from, a, from, from a professional perspective for me personally and my marketing team, uh, we have been just probably as busier, uh, busy as ever. Uh, I feel like we're working, you know, twice as hard. Uh, as we did to get, you know, half or an equal amount of, of interest in equipment. But that's, that's life right now in, in this, this COVID world. So, yeah, things have definitely changed. Has, uh, your, has the systems or methods that Provo has used to deliver product changed in any way? Um, well, I think every, you know, we, yes, we, we've taken obviously all the, the, the same precautions that everybody else has in the industry to make sure that, you know, not only our employees are safe, uh, who work on the equipment, but also, you know, when they get, everything gets, you know, refurbished, it gets sanitized or we have all the stations and we do all the, you know, all the protocols that you need to do to make sure that not only the employees are safe, but, uh, you know, customers who receive the equipment, are getting something that's clean and sanitized and disinfected and yeah there's been obviously a lot more focus uh on that lately uh it's more work uh but like everybody you know business is you know not uh to december january even february levels yet so we have the luxury of of, of doing all that right now uh have you are is there anything unique that you're doing to help hospitals that you'd like to share um, let's see, you know, we are, we are still in operation. Uh, you know, we, we, uh, have, you know, really tried to think through how can we, you know, be different? How can we help, uh, in, in this environment? It's very difficult, uh, to come up with, with great ideas, uh, because, you know, it's, it's a struggle, you know, the amount of people that are back to work and even in hospitals is a lot less, uh, than it was not too long ago, but, you know, we're, our, our, sort of uh, marketing strategy or the way we hold ourselves out is that, you know, we try to make quality healthcare affordable. Uh, you know, that's, that is, you know, when you're selling refurbished equipment, you're selling it at a discount to, to do pricing. But in this current economic cycle with COVID, you know, uh, anybody, whether it's a doctor's office, a hospital, whatever, you know, capital is precious at the moment. And, you know, people are, are waiting for strong and clear signals to start spending again. Uh, there are some people that are, excuse me, there are some people that are out ahead of the curve doing it, you know, at the moment, planning ahead. So what we really, you know, uh, have tried to do is, is work with hospitals that have needs at the moment for equipment, whether it's because they're, they're seeing more patients for, for COVID or what have you, 
or just planning ahead, uh, you know, so that they can have, you know, their uh, equipment, whether it's upgraded or just up and running when everybody starts to get back to some normalcy here. You know, we're, we're you know, we've come up with some, some solutions we think that are pretty creative uh, on the rental side to make things affordable uh, so that, you know, people can have access to good equipment when, when things start to, you know, uh, come out from the slump that we're in right now. Do you, uh, is the wisdom at Probo, do you believe that uh, healthcare will change in the future in any way as a result of the pandemic? Um, will it change? You know, that's a great question. You know, I've heard, uh, you know, I've talked to some doctors here recently that are really look, taking a hard look at, at telemedicine. Um, you know, I, I think at least from, from our little world of, of ultrasound and, and C-arms, which is what we do at Probo, you know, there's always going to be a need for that kind of thing. I think telemedicine is going to have a bigger place. How big, I don't know. Uh, but, it, you know, at the end of the day, you know, whether it's, it's telemedicine or in the office, ultrasound is, is still a great and relatively cheap diagnostic tool relative to, you know, other things that are out there. So, you know, uh, yeah, it's going to change um exactly how it's going to change i'm not sure anybody knows yet but you know we're we're you know i think uh trying to be as flexible as possible with you know the kind of things that we're doing right now but you know it's just hard to say phil i, I just i wish i had a crystal ball that it was right all the time and and i don't in this case yes i i wish i had a crystal ball as well uh well it's very interesting to speak with you, Brian, and, uh, you know, Provo is a great company, and I'm sure you're doing some great work out there. So thank you very much for joining me today.